Did you know that only in Europe the 95% of companies are asking for a digital signature solutions? Hello everybody and welcome back to Hello Trust, your one-stop podcast dedicated to the world of digital trust, a set of innovative technologies uh, that allows us to perform complex operations directly online, such as signing a digital contract, opening a bank account, or even subscribing an insurance policy. I'd like to remind you that this podcast has been produced by InfoCert, the largest qualified trust service provider in Europe, and you can watch all the episodes uh, through our YouTube channel or even and listening to it uh, uh, through your favorite podcast platform. As always with me, Igor Marco Longo, our black belt in ADAS2. <laughs> Welcome. Thank you. Ciao, ciao Pasquale. So today with us, Valerina Sivera, the CEO of one of the most important companies in digital signature in France. So, bonjour, Valérie. Bonjour, hello. <laughs> so, let's start this episode uh, talking about, of course, an electronic signature that we know that already exists. What is going to change with ADAS 2? Yeah, yeah, IDAS uh, uh, 1, as we call it uh, um, in the other episodes, uh, regulates electronic signatures, mm -hmm. the same acronym uh, as into it, the EID, so identities and signatures. But, uh, you know, signatures um, did exist even before the regulation, but they were locally regulated uh, with a directive that was uh, has been transposed in different uh, um ways in slightly different ways. EIDAS 1 uh, harmonized it, EIDAS 2 is uh, bringing an additional level of harmonization um, and is strengthening the security. For example, there will be uh, a more security and more level of uh, assurance, a higher level of assurance for the, the identification. You know, it is really important to be identified, so the identification phase to have a digital signatures to have the qualified signature, so the maximum level of trust, now the level of um, assurance for the identification uh, will be strengthened from substantial to high. The second one um, is a much uh, more um, protection of citizens uh, and the signature holders, especially for remote signatures. There will be a new qualified trust service uh, that uh, um, aims to uh, strengthen uh, the remote of the signature creation device mm -hmm. when, when qualified. That is the all the technology that is uh, used to create a remote signature. So there will be qualified trust service providers that will keep it and uh, design it in line with the biggest and highest level of trust uh, from a technological and organizational way. Third, a new liability regime, even with more high, higher and um, sanctions for um, the for the providers. You know, both trust service providers and qualified trust service providers will be subject to in uh, quite heavy sanctions in case of they do uh, something that is not properly in line with the uh, with the regulation. All of this to strengthen the security of citizens uh, with a so important tool as it is the, their signature. So this is very interesting. But Valerie, we know we were telling that uh, we already have a lot of experiences, local experiences in uh, uh, digital signature all around Europe. What are the main ones? Digital transaction management has taken different forms in different countries. If we take France as example, the use of simple electronic signature has become widespread for use cases that do not require any identification nor a high level of trust. If we still remain in France, what we have noticed is a tremendous growth of electronic signature in public administration which I would say uh, is mainly driven by the need for more um, efficiency, the need for more security, and the need for more digital-first services. These digital-first services um, have been, of course, aligned with the uh, European regulation, such as ADAS. At CERT Europe, uh, an info shared company, we provide our customers with the highest level of trust and authentication, making sure that the uh, electronic signature um, has the same legal standing as the handwritten ones. We facilitate the use of official uh, uh, documents and contracts 
um, with providing a clear audit trail, uh, which helps uh, clearly to reduce fraud. Just imagine how critical it is for uh, our judges in France to immediately uh, sign their justice decision so that it is quickly executed. Mm -hmm. Our expertise is to uh, bring the highest level of trust and authentication, making sure that we ensure um, the most secure uh, workflow process of electronic signature from end to end. Thank you very much, Valérie. I, I, I was listening about simple signatures, so there are also other kind of signatures. Not all the signatures are the same. Not all the signatures are the same. There are three levels of security in, uh, and trust of uh, signatures. And this is a, a, a three layers that has been introduced mm -hmm. by EIDAS, uh, uh, the previous uh, version, EIDAS 1, and it is uh, um, confirmed by the IDS2. Uh, let's wrap up. We have the simple electronic signature mm -hmm. or the general electronic signature, the larger category. So the one that is, uh, I don't know, when you click on an app because you are approving uh, and accepting um, with a tick, uh, a close, this is considered a signature because you are in that transaction approving something. There, are, there will be a track of your action okay. uh, behind it. Of course, you can understand that it is quite low level because you don't have identification, you don't have uh, all the requirements for integrity and so on. You can have, of course, it, it depends about the service, it depends about how it is built up from by the provider. Then the second layer is the advanced electronic signature. Here you have some requirements about integrity of the document, identification of the signer, uh, even liability of the trust service provider. The liability that will be enhanced thanks to the IDAS2 I was referring uh, to. Which is missing here is uh, a previous audit and approval to start this business. So. Every provider can, with the right uh, characteristics can deliver a, an advanced electronic signature or a simple electronic signature, but you know that there, there is no uh, ex-ante vigilance, so you don't have previously an audit and approval to do that business. This approval and a really strong auditing uh, um, framework is uh, uh, required for the third level, that is the qualified electronic signature. The top of the tops uh, of, in terms of, uh, of signatures because um, you, there are specific technologies, specific liabilities, a qualified trust service provider that is audited and approved by uh, the supervisory body of the, of the member states and it is continuously uh, vigilated. Even here you can have... You, you, to have a qualified um, signature, you need to have a qualified certificate. That is mm -hmm. a certificate, so a, an electronic document issued by the qualified trust service provider that put together identity and the tool to sign. That typically is cryptographic keys, but I don't want to enter into technical details. No, please, I cannot understand anything <laughs> about that. <laughs> and the third element of this uh, triangle is the qualified signature creation device. That is the, the set of of all the technologies, the hardware, the software, the functionalities, and so on, that are uh, meant to protect the really important thing that is the signature of uh, the of the holder. So we have uh, different kind of signatures, and we know that uh, uh, countries have applied different processes on this. Uh, how ADAS to uh, is going to evolve this situation, Valerie? Well, the lack of uh, harmonization and interoperability between different countries' uh, regulation has been a real challenge. Um, and sometimes uh, this causes a real pain for businesses mm. and citizens. Yeah. This fragmentation uh, often leads to complexity and inefficiency which is a pain for uh, businesses and for uh, citizens. So ADAS2 uh, will uh, address some of this challenging by providing a mutual recognition of electronic identification across all European member states. 
So it will be easier for uh, citizens to be recognized by another, by another state and uh, digitally sign a document everywhere. Exactly. And there will be a common standard framework yeah. of electronic signature, but also a common framework uh, with regards to uh, the level of trusts. Uh, most likely will be the highest one. And at CERT Europe, we are completely uh, ready for that. So it aims at creating a um, common uh, framework, as I said, um, ensuring and securing the, the digital transaction across uh, borders and uh, improving the uh, cross-border collaboration as well. Whether you sign a contract in uh, Spain or uh, submit a legal form in France or open a bank account in Germany, this now with ADAS2 will be possible. So uh, you are a CEO. How are you preparing in France uh, uh, for this big change, big challenge? Well, we've already prepared for that. We are a trusted provider. We offer and provide our customer the highest level of trust. We secure the uh, signature workflow as well. I would say that uh, CERT Europe is fully prepared and with CERT Europe is simpler, faster and safer. So thank you very much, <laughs> Valérie. Uh, thank you very much, Igor. And especially thank you very much for all of you. Uh, remember to watch all the episodes on our YouTube channel, or if you want to listen to them, you can do it uh, through your favorite podcast platform. Thank you and have a good day. <laughs>